guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. So today we're over on the FHG account and last night we did massive summons across this account and also the faction accounts. Got a lot of pulls, got some quad pulls in there. We got the 30,000 diamonds out of the Stargazer, so very, very cool. Today we're back with the furniture. So now that we got all of these heroes, we're gonna go ahead and do some massive furniture summons. We have 60,000 pull coins on here and a considerable amount of poke coins on all of the faction accounts as well. And again, since we have the heroes, now we need to go ahead and gear them up. So looking at the wish list, changed it up a little bit. We kept Albedo on here and Ainz on here. We definitely want to max them out. Um, we have Peggy in here. I, I want to see her. I know a lot of people have said go with Raku. Ultimately, I want to see how well Peggy does in here, as well as Yukio. I, I still want to see how well he does. Um, Belinda, we're actually going to swap out of here. And I'm thinking about putting, see, eyes old. We already, I'm thinking Damon. So we're going to put Damon in here. We want to go ahead and build him to nine of nine. And I also, I'm going to drop out Zolrath and we are going to put in Lucy. So I know she's not ascended yet, but ultimately these are the heroes we're looking to build. Peggy again is just kind of a wild card. I want to build her. I want to see what she can do. So let's go ahead and we will get into the summons guys. 60,000 pole coin so we're gonna have a lot of cards we're gonna have a lot of mythic cards is what i'm hoping so a couple of legendaries on that one this pull gives us four more legendaries here is our first mythic pull which gives us a double guys look at that yukio and peggy very very nice our first pull is a double mythic furniture very very cool so a couple more legendaries there and stocking up these pull coins. It's been a little bit since we did a furniture pull. There's a copy of Grez. Grez is probably one of the biggest heroes when it comes to getting the nine of nine because when he shields the minions for the Twisted Realm, I would definitely keep him on the list and build him up to that nine of nine. He, he really, really has to be built as well as a couple other heroes like Ainz. Boom, there's another piece for Damon. Damon's 9 of 9, really strong. Um, Lucy's 9 of 9, very, very strong. Ainz, of course, very, very strong with a 9 of 9. Some heroes, 3 of 9 does work very well, um, including Gwen's 3 of 9 works pretty well. Um, Skaras, 3 of 9 is kind of required for, for being able to use him. We have another furniture there, which is Graz, guys. That is two more pieces for Graz. Very, very nice. Hopefully we got a couple of red cards and another mythic piece right there, which gives us a piece for Silas. Silas, nine of nine, not a huge requirement, but ultimately does help him with skills, skills and abilities a little bit. Another mythic piece there. So we're getting pretty lucky on these pulls, which is Yukio. That'll give him two pieces already. And back to back mythic pulls, which gives us another piece there. We got one for Albedo. So overall, guys, we are pulling a ton of furniture. Super stoked to see exactly how well these heroes do with their mythic furniture on here. So we've got another piece there again for Silas. Let's see. So that gives us three cards on the table. Let's go ahead. We always put our furniture on the heroes, which gives us four of nine there for Silas. Let's see who else we got. So Grez, that takes us almost maxed out, guys. Two pieces we got, we could use both of them, which is awesome. Mahira is at three. That adds two of them for Yukio. Damon is almost maxed out too. Three more pieces and he will be maxed out. Didn't see any for Ainz, but we did get one for Albedo. So I'm actually gonna use these um, cards on the table. So I am thinking we are gonna go ahead and max out Grez. I'm gonna use two of these to max out Grez. Cause again, guys, he is such a huge priority. If you're really pushing the Twisted Realm, if you're using Grez, um, three of nine works well. Nine of nine works absolutely phenomenal. And if you're really pushing the Twisted Realm again, this is what you have to have. You, you do have to have him at the nine of nine and also having his plus 30 signature item. So we'll go ahead. There he is. Nine of nine plus 30 signature item. So Grez is maxed out at this point, guys. Very, very cool. So we'll go ahead, we will sell back all of our cards like we always do. We equipped all of the legendary on our heroes, so we will recycle all of our pieces in here, giving us one more pull. Maybe it's gonna be a mythic pull. 
looks like it's just going to be some more legendary furniture there. All right, so the last card we are just going to remain. We're going to leave that one on the table. But now we can drop out Grez, guys, another hero. And I'm going to drop in Laika. We haven't built any furniture for Laika, but ultimately she is going to be the next one that we're going to build. So let's hop over to our Lightbearer account, and we will start doing the furniture pulls on there. All right, so we are back with our Light Bear team, again, looking at the furniture pulls. Have 30,000 po coins on here, so we've accumulated a lot of them. And specific to this account, because it is our faction accounts, we are doing all Light Bearers. That's right, guys, all Light Bearers. And we are taking them all to nine of nine, so we're gonna max them out. Right now, we have no cards on the table. We need two for Estrilda, we need two for Falks. Ultimately, just building this team out. Only one we're missing right now is Peggy. As you can see, we have Allard in there who is um, finally up to Ascended. So we got him up to Ascended. So let's go ahead and do some furniture pulls here. Really hoping we can pull a couple Mythic cards. That way we can finish out a couple more of these heroes. So the first one, just Legendary. Second one, there is our Mythic pull, which gives us a copy for Estrilda. So let's see if that was actually a duplicate that we pulled which it does not look like it, guys. So we need one for Estrilda, which is that, that is what I was hoping to do. So there we go. So Estrilda, we actually have built now. So that gives us eight. That will take her to nine of nine. So we'll go ahead, we'll pop that last one on her. So she is completely maxed out. So we can drop her out of the wish list. Starting to get a lot of nine of nine heroes here, which is again, very, very cool to see. Only one we have left is Peggy. So she is the only one. Once we get this, guys, we're probably just gonna save the pole coins. That way we can make sure that we have enough for when the new heroes come out, we can actually go ahead and get a significant amount of furniture because we'll have the cards available as we finish out the Light Bear account as well with these nine of nine furnitures. And a double, guys, look at that. Falks, we needed two. We might have pulled one of the two, or it could be a duplicate. And we got our first piece there for Thane. Getting very, very lucky with those double pulls. So a couple more legendary pieces. And this should be our mythic pull, which it is. And we put, picked up another piece for Lucius. Very nice. Still never seen a three pull. I, I want to see a three pull in here which would be awesome. So another piece there, which is for Oscar. We got one more card on the table. So let's go ahead. We'll sell out these cards. Not sure if that's gonna give us enough for another pull, but we'll throw our furniture on there. That gives three of nine for Oscar. Looks like Lucius is almost max out as well. And another piece for Thane. So got really lucky on the summons there. I don't think, see the one we got for Falks was probably a duplicate is what I'm thinking, because if not, he would have had eight. But essentially, guys, we're, we're going to take it to nine of nine. We're going to save the cards on the table right now um, because I, I want to save them to, to finish out heroes. If we get another card, we'll go ahead and build out Falks. If not, we can actually just go ahead and do those duplicates. So now let's head over to the Wilder account, and we will continue our furniture summons. All right, guys, so here we are over on the Wilder account, again, hitting up the Oak Inn. This account, specifically Wilders, we do have quite a few of them that are already maxed out. Um, we dropped Raku in there last time as we continue to build 9 of 9. This is the core heroes that we have. I believe everyone else in the Wilder faction is already 9 of 9, which they definitely are. Short of Solus, they're just needing two more pieces. 14,000 poke coins, so not as many as the other accounts, but still looking to pull more of the Mythic Furniture piece right off the bat for Tassie. Very, very nice. Couple legendary pieces there. Looks like this pull is going to be legendary as well, meaning this one is going to be our mythic pull. And a double again, guys. A second piece there for Tassie and a piece for Kaz. Very, very nice. So we got two cards on the table now. Let's go ahead and equip both of those pieces. So Tassie got two more out of there, so very cool to see. Two cards on the table. Do we have any seven of nines? We don't. We don't have any seven of nines. We have Solus. So you know what? Let's go ahead. We are gonna use these for um, Solus, and she is already seven of nine. This will take her to eight of nine. 
because we don't have her on the list or the wish list right now. So, but that will complete her up to nine of nine guys. So she will be completely done at that point. We'll go ahead and pop the furniture on her. Nine of nine. First time that I have ever seen her maxed out, which I know she needs a little bit of a rework, possibly a little bit of a buff. But overall, we'll recycle what we're not using. I think that'll give us enough for one more summon. Hopefully it's going to be Mythic, which it looks like. No, it is going to be a couple more Legendary pieces there. Go ahead and do our final recycle, and then we'll actually head over to our Mauler account. So not too bad, guys. This is all we have left for the Wilders, and they will be done, guys. All of them will be done. I'm not sure we got a piece for Kaz. But I'm not seeing... That's kind of interesting. I wonder if she's not here yet. I was going to say, it didn't put the piece on Kaz. So I'm thinking since we've leveled her up. Yep, that is the case. She is not here yet. So we'll actually invite her. We'll open up her room. There we go. We'll go ahead and pop that piece of furniture on her. Boom, there we go. We actually have a lot more to cast. Let's open the rest of the room. I didn't know we had furniture on her already. So we'll drop a couple more diamonds there. So Kaz is looking very, very good, guys. Look at that. We have seven of nine right off the bat. And again, they've been in there for a while, but there it is, guys. From no furniture to seven of nine, just like that. Almost completely done. And I wonder if we have any more. I wonder if we pulled any pieces already for Raku. We have two for Lucius, which way back in the day, um, well, that's actually the swap. When we did the swap, it gave us two pieces for Lucius. Um, when we did our swap scroll, so be careful of that. So let's go ahead and we'll head over to the Maulers. All right, guys, so here we are over on the Mauler account, my favorite account. The Maulers are always the underdog. That, that is why I love to see them built and love to really see how they progress and how they are played. So looking in the workshop, have a bunch of Maulers. We have Taylene in here as well. Most of the other accounts already have her at nine of nine. So she is completely maxed out on a bunch of those. And I wanna make sure that she's actually in here because I think we have some furniture from what we just seen with Kaz. Let's make sure we got her in here. And we'll, we'll be able to see exactly what she has. So we'll unlock her room just like we did with Kaz's room. Make sure we're not um, stacking too much furniture in there. So she's at three of nine already. We'll go ahead and we'll put her in our top priority. There we go, guys. So she's already got her three piece. Very, very nice. We have Dresden here and just continuing to build these guys up to nine of nine. No cards on the table. So we'll get right into our summons. Hopefully we can continue pulling some doubles. Last couple pulls, we've gotten doubles for furnitures quite a bit. And there is our first mythic piece, which gives us another one for Nemisu. I wanna see him nine of nine furniture. He, he is a powerhouse with that plus 30 signature item. So I can imagine that when he gets those additional heals, it's gonna be a big difference. It, it's gonna make a very, very big difference. Got a piece in there for Kasos. So not even any cards on the table yet. We are short on this one as well. We'll go ahead, we'll hop in here, equip what we got. Take a quick look at the Mauler team. There we go, guys. So we added another piece. We need two cards to go ahead and finish out Namisu. Everybody else we are continuing to build. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look at our Graveborn team. All right, guys, so we are back with our final faction team, continuing our furniture summons, the Oak Inn. Greyborns have 26,000 pull coins, continuing to max out all of our heroes here across the faction. So looking at the wish list, still have Taylene in here, Theowen we're building, Kelthar we're building, but ultimately, guys, we have a ton of heroes that are six of nine already, a couple fives, couple fours going to continue to build them now we have no cards on the table but hopefully we're going to get lucky with some of our pulls here picking up a couple pieces of mythic furniture would be very very cool to see so there we go a double again guys we got oden and we got taylene that is almost every account that we have pulled doubles on summons and furniture summons have just been off of the chain lately 
with the amount of doubles that we're getting. There we go. There's another piece of Mythic Furniture and another double. An Oden and a Daemon. So double doubles out of this summoning session. Crazy, crazy to see how lucky we've been with summons. I think it's got something to do with the anniversary event. They buffed up some of our rates. And there is our first piece for Shamira. Gives us one card on the table. So let's go ahead. It will equip. And it looks like Grez we didn't get any furniture for. But I know we got a couple in there for Damon. So let's take a look what we got. We have eight of nine on Oden, guys. That is right. We are going to do it. Always, always well worth it. So there is Oden. We'll use our card on the table. Boom. There is nine of nine. So he is completely maxed out. We have nine of nine on him as well. So we can drop him out of our wish list. Let's see what we got for Graveborn's left. So we got Isabella. We got Pharrell. We got Isold nine of nine. Oden is nine of nine. That leaves Baden. Nara is already nine of nine. So we'll drop Baden in there, guys. And that is it for the Graveborns. That will be all the Graveborns, including Taylene, still in here, um, to go ahead and build out the furniture. So we'll sell off our cards here. We'll go ahead and recycle. And I think we'll have enough for just one more summon here. Or maybe a couple more. That gives us three more. So we had a lot of furniture just sitting there. Hoping we can pull at least a, a single which we should, hopefully a double. There we go, guys. Another piece for Silas. And a card on the table. So let's see, maybe by chance we could use another card for somebody. Let's see, six. Damon's at seven. He is almost done. Torn is almost done. We got to build up the rest of these Graveborns. But look at that, guys. Five on Silas already. Shamira got a piece I believe it's going to be the case of we didn't invite her yet either. I know she's a hero that we just built up recently. So there we go. So there is Shamira. We will also invite Taylene in here. I think we might have a piece for her as well. And while we're at it, we can throw Arthur in here. So make sure you're adding heroes in here, guys. The furniture makes a very, very big difference on how powerful they are. All right, so let's go ahead and equip these guys. Boom, so that gives three pieces to Taylene, which I thought. And there is Shamira, so we're going to have to figure out where the rest of her furniture is. But let's take a look at it. So we have one, two, three. We have three, four pieces for Shamira. We have one more for Taylene. Nara's got duplicates. Baden, we don't have. So Nara, we can use the duplicate. Shamira, we're just going to have to build up to get her completely maxed out with that furniture. So here she has three, so we got to have some duplicates in there. But we'll definitely figure that out. Guys, so that will do it. Let's go ahead and head over to the final account, which is the free-to-play account. All right, guys, so here we are on our final account. In here, the Oak Inn really doesn't have too much short of Shamira. Um, she has been the one that we're building. So it looks like we did finally get our second Ascended Hero. If you remember from the Stargazer in the Summons last night, we did pick up another Ascended Hero. There he is, guys, the super charged Graveborn Daemon that can actually carry teams by himself. We already have him in the wish list. He has no furniture as of right now. One card on the table, so we'll go ahead with the quick summons here. Hopefully, we can pull a couple mythic cards. There's a copy for Taylene, brand new furniture. So, as we continue to build her, we will definitely go ahead and gear her out with some furniture. Second pull goes to Tassie which another hero that we definitely need to build. Many of them at this point are not ascended. So pulling furniture will have some to really help us carry through the campaign. So these cards in particularly, um, we're going to save, we're gonna save all of our furniture because as we continue to get more heroes and as we build up more heroes, we can actually just auto place the furniture we get in here. Again, re replacing or adding to the power that these heroes have. We do not want to lose out on any additional stats that we're gonna get out of the furniture by selling the furniture back. So as of right now, until we get a solid amount of heroes in here and start really focusing on the mythic gear, um, because this is a free to play account, we're gonna save our furniture right now because of how limited we are with the account itself. 
So guys, that will do it for all of our furniture summons. Again, we did absolutely phenomenal. We got a quad pull. We got 30,000 diamonds. That is the furniture summons versus all of the accounts. I'm going to get them geared up, get them all ready and set to go with the furniture, with the formations. We're going to do some campaign pushes shortly. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.